It's true that every day is an harvest day through August. There always seems to be something that's ready to take. And you've got to keep taking these to encourage the remaining fruits to ripen fully. And the other advantage of things like this, especially for me, is that I make my own sauces for pizzas, spaghetti, or I also make soups and curries from blended tomatoes that we grow all through season. So you've got to keep on top of this harvesting. Don't let one single fruit spoil. And meanwhile, like I said, bear in mind that the more you've got on there already ripe, the less energy is going into the ones that aren't quite ripe yet. So you need to take them off. And there are ways to preserve these fruits for later use by freezing, which I'll show you how to do at some point over the next week or so, so that you can collect every single fruit that you've grown and put it to use. Maybe not this week, but also through winter when you'll appreciate these really lovely soups and curries all that much more. So let's get some of these harvested right now and see how many we've actually got today. So, because I plan on making up some sauces this week, I'll be taking every virtually ripe tomato that I can find. If they're not 100% ripe, it don't matter. Put those in the fridge for a couple of days or on a windowsill and they'll soon turn a deeper red. So, I'll take as many of these as I can today. And as I say, at some point we'll, we'll, we'll do the freezing and blanching video. So I don't want you to waste anything that you've grown. Keep an eye out for these little ones that hide as well. Get those off. So today, basically, all I want to leave is green fruit on all these plants. So everything is going to come off in every greenhouse. And if you've seen my recent videos, you'll know that it's only a couple of days ago that we was in here taking some of these off. And now there's even more. So... Take what we can, and then we'll move on. <clears throat> Even these little cherry tomatoes that we've still got producing, we'll take some of those as well. <clears throat> There's loads and loads of ripe tomatoes on here, considering, like I say, we've recently took quite a few. That's certainly not bad for the moment. Now this greenhouse is a sight for sore eyes. Look at the size of those tomatoes. Amazing. We've got quite a few ready, so they're gonna be perfect for what we need. But let's get these off. small one there, we'll take that anyway, and these bigger ones, and they're all perfectly clean, nothing wrong with them. <clears throat> and loads more here. As I said, we're taking everything today. cucumbers ready again I'm leaving those today though I 
that one's just slightly too light. We'll leave that one. We'll take that one off there as well. That'll soon ripen in house. And right at the bottom of this plant, I must have missed these. So, but not today. There's another one. These plants have got plenty on as well. They're just not ripe at the moment. But they are overshadowing the spring onions a little. But we're definitely going to get some fruits from these as well. There's even a couple in this bath planter that I can take. So I might as well get those off. more ready on this plant as well so let's get those off so because we've got that plan that at some point this week I'm gonna start making those tomato sauces for freezing we're now starting to collect as many tomatoes as we can lay our hands on and you can see just how quickly these tomatoes are now starting to ripen with it being August I've already got quite a big drawer full that we harvested over the last few days in the fridge and only a few days later we come up with those a really good harvest of tomatoes but more than that we're not just on as little cherry tomatoes anymore we've got some really nice good quality big tomatoes And these are going to be perfect for that sauce that I need. We've got loads more growing. We've got loads more flowers. So they're going to keep going right up until the end of October. Which is going to give us batches and batches of frozen tomato sauce. And if you check out my cooking channel, there's a link in the description. You'll see all the recipes that I make using homemade sauces from produce that we grow in the garden. And the fact that you can blanch, blend and freeze this in portion sizes makes it perfect for use later in winter. That time of year when a warm bowl of tomato soup or a little curry dish is going to be so much more welcome than it is right now because it's so hot. So we'll keep harvesting, we'll keep blanching, we'll keep freezing. And don't forget, we'll keep sowing seeds as well. We can still do lettuce, we can do spinach. You could still put some French beans in for a quick, short harvest. We'll be doing broad beans, overwintering onions, spring cabbages, spring onions. So the season's far from over. We're just in this exciting part of the season, which is all about taking the harvests and creating food to fill that hungry gap so we can create meals through winter to tide us over until spring comes back round again because we know it's a very long winter in the UK anyway thanks for watching that video always appreciate it and I'm going to go and get these in get them washed and then we'll do a video on blanching and freezing for storage you all take care thank you very much for watching